It's a rainy and grungy day here at Muddy Hard Crash Field in Micro Hard, Washington. It's a perfect sloppy stage for some NFL football or a tribute to Woodstock 94. And this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Carolina Panthers battle the Micro Hard Mutilators. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are tuned to the right place. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow and the MFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. Oh, I remember. Uh, I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you ask for, Grim. Oh, and the defense jumps outside and attacks the cube. And the whistle blows the play dead along with the quarterback. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big porn at John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. week's game we're blowing up on shitter critics said he should shut up or blow up you know two birds with one stone there i suppose second down and long
Well, little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. That kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, what the brutal hit! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack on... It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. And it's first and ten. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. He runs it for three. Wow, he took like a thousand volts of shock there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Borden, the ex murderer. Did the shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and zapped her, they never bothered her again, so yeah, I, I guess it worked for her. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. And they stack the line, and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Second down and nine. And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll bring up third down and seven. more points, so they're going for two. And he gets into the end zone for the conversion. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't wrong in my head. It was a... And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. Oh, nice hit. Second down in a very lot. He grabs it and picks up four on that reception. Third down and eight. And the cornerback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. 
unbelievable. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And he picks up 10 on that run. Man, he nearly broke that one open, Bricks. Yeah, and I... And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Finally. And that'll bring up third and one. First and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Second down and five. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a... Uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Even though he's a big, nasty D lineman, he's still got his hands up for the deflection. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Apparently the punt up of the day is being played by my kid's sister. And she doesn't have what? And he's got a chance for a good return here. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. And the defense was... Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. A freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the punishing hit. Second and three. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. Fermented anything really tastes good. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can see that, Graham. First down and five. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Man, he's dancing like a 
zonked our jam band enthusiast. Well, that's how we spent his entire off season. <laughs> and these guys think kicking is for pussies, bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grim. Yeah, they got big balls. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sits up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. Second down and ten. And the QB can play at one speed. He's the ball in the offensive fumble. You gotta protect the ball better than that. Ouch! What is this? Andy's wrestling? And it's first and ten. like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. left in the half. I can't wait to the halftime show. And it's first and ten. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. Second down and seven. And then Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? And it's first and ten. Put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. down 
down. I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real... And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. And then to first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 70. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. The receiver makes a grab for five yards. Second and three. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Ah, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. He had it for a second there. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. They're going for two points. Two point plays are high risk, high reward, and it just didn't pay off. And now they're both screwed and stupid. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. Second down and a lot. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm going to go to a strip show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you sell down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> you want to do some fun on your time. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. It's a six-yard gain. Third and four. Well, 
Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you think. Second down and seven. And that's a nice run for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, and they just deflated the quarterback's balls right there. Second down in a very lot. quickly you know sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back and he got it off that's a decent punt nice catch and he turns on the afterburners punt returners in this one time when i was playing a guy hit me so hard i went into a dark tunnel thought i saw my grandparents waving at me in the light turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face nicely done for a first down He was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy game. Third down and three. First down, you know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic person. <laughs> oh, wow. If you're a defender, the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Ah, uh, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead. First down and six. Might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. I mean, it anything really tastes good. How do you like your defense is cooked? The ball carrier saying, well done. Bang, baby, bang. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Now there are 
are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and get the kicker's job in half? They just be... It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a frog in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. And the defense jumps on sides, trying to mutilate the QB. And it's first and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. Offense is rolling. Margaret, that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, nice hit. Third down and five. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Whoa, and he laterals the ball to the player behind him. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. Hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. If that hit and the defense calls a thunderclap dirty trick, man, that's got to hurt. Don't make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. Yeah. 
Second and three. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it plays a defense, schmuck. Third down and long. And he picked up a lot of real estate in a hurry. Give him 10 yards right there. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. Uh, MFL isn't... It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident it certainly does bricks it certainly does high five and it's first and ten this is your brain and this is your brain on birth much like my wedding night there was a big explosion and everyone left disappointed everyone you had more than two people in the room yeah the guy filming the clown somebody's got to make the balloon animals first down and forever he could go all the way here comes the defense oh so close but not today And it's first and ten. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. Good thing they don't have drug testing in the NFL. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. You know, his great grandfather was in that movie, Alien. When you needed to bust out the big guns, man, he's just leaving one big skid mark out there. Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. And that's why you should never think about mine unless it's that kind. Oh, that was nasty. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Smart 
move there as they call a timeout trying to get the ball back for another shot. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run the football. First down. The defense calls a second timeout. They really need to make a stop here. And it's first and ten. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. And defense calls its final timeout. Good. I got to run to the John. That means I got to deal with that grubby little bathroom attendant again. Always pushing his life-savers, dirty comb, hairspray, cheap cologne on me. Hey, I'm here to take a crap. Not that ready for a date. Well, you never know who you If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking street ball man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Third and four. Just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. First down and one. The micro-hard mutilators win the game today. The entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a feeder team should get a participation award because well, I tried really hard. Why don't you try real hard to shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the Scots, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.